let's see what we have here. The SV Bonnie. SV241. Hi everyone and welcome back. SV Bonnie just sent me their new power box for free to test it out on my channel along with the SV555 telescope. The new upgraded version that has round sharp stars up to the edge of the images without any pinch optics. And we'll review this telescope soon on my channel, so stay tuned. In this video, I want to show you how the SV Boni DC USB hub works and how to set it up here with the SV555 telescope. I'm using also my Skywatcher EQM35 Pro mount. I have attached also an astrophotography camera, my Altair 26C Hypercam, a guide scope with a guide camera, and uh, I'll be using also a mini PC that I have it on the other mount. And I've just bought an uh, extension cable, an USB 3 adapter, extension cable adapter to be able to connect to the power box. Okay, so basically this is uh, what it can do. It uh, allows you to connect to a, a PC, a laptop, and connect your cameras, like the dedicated camera I have it here, the guiding camera, any uh, dew heaters that you want to use for your telescope or even the guide scope. And I will come closer now to show you all the DC and USB ports. So we have here the PC connection. Then we have the DC 12 volts in. Here we'll power the power box. And on this side we have a Type-C. Two slots USB 3.1 and one uh, USB 2.0. On the other part we have DC 12 volts out and other two ports. And two ports of USB 5 volts out. Here we will use dew heaters if we want to attach a dew heater there on the telescope. So the dew heaters will connect here and on the other side we have another four DC 12 volts ports. And it's very, very lightweight. Also very affordable. The price is $59.99 US dollars. I think this is the most affordable power box on the market today. Uh, so it's a must have for the price. Don't miss it out. Okay, so now it's time to attach it here. On the on the dovter, we'll show you how to uh, attach it, and we'll connect the main camera, the guiding camera, the mount. Basically, it allows you to connect everything through this power box, and with another cable, it will connect to your PC or laptop, and you'll be able to control your cameras and other equipment, including the mount, through this little power box. And let's begin. We'll uh, go get the screw and attach it here on the dovter. So we have, I have here the Allen key that I got with the SV555 and a, a screw. So we'll try now to, to attach it somewhere here higher. This will be enough. Okay. And then we'll use the Allen key and we make sure we tight it good. It was this easy to do it. it. It will take you a couple of seconds or one minute. Let's continue and it's time now to get the cables and connect the SV Boni power box to the cameras, mount and mini PC. Uh, it comes also with uh, a few cables. Uh, I found two DC charging cables. One charging cable here with a car cigarette socket and another USB 3 cable to connect to the PC. So we'll connect now USB B to A cable. So we'll connect this cable to the PC. However, I don't have the PC on this mount, it's on the other one and we'll be using the same PC to control two, two setups. And I got this, uh, this cable, USB 3 male to female to extend the connection. So I got a, a three meters cable, so I have enough space between the mounts. We'll connect now to the other cable, like this. Okay, so we have the main connection to the PC ready. 
and I've already have a charger. I probably might need to buy a stronger one is 3 amps, but hopefully it will be enough. 12 uh, volts, 3 amps. And we'll connect now the cameras. Here I have a special cable that I'm using control the mount with EQ mode and Nina. We'll connect here to the SV Boni. This usually goes in the mini PC, but we'll try it with SV Boni. We'll just connect it on the USB 3 port on the second one. And on the first one, we'll connect the camera cable. We have here the guide camera cable. We'll connect it, connect this one in USB 2. We have the dual heater here. Let's see now, where is more simple here? This is 12 volts out. And we'll charge here the camera. Okay, and now to charge the SV Boni. I will charge it with uh, the camera charger. At home, you can charge it with a, a power charger that uh, converts AC to DC. You can also use a power box. The power box, I'll probably use it when I travel. And we'll connect a charging cable directly in the power box and here on the DC 12 volts in. It uh, supports maximum 10 amps. And we'll, che we'll check now to see if we have light yes we have light on the camera since can start it it works we'll have to do some cable management currently i'll just leave them like this the power cable we have the pc cable we have three usb data transfer cables on and also two charging cables on and another dc uh, port to charge the camera we can set the heater to high it works so everything is connected. Now we should be able to run everything through this power box to control the mount. The cameras will go now inside on the computer and test it out. Now we've connected both cameras, also the mount, connection to the computer and the do heater. And let's loop. And yeah, it works. Now we'll go equipment. We can see camera is cool to zero degrees. We'll go and connect mount. Success. And connect guider. And go here imaging again. And we'll check here. We have EQ mode. It's currently parked. Okay, first we need to unpark. And now we can use sidereal if we want to track. And we can use also these buttons. To slow it if you want so let's test we slow it a little bit but we need to change here the rate with the mode so it will go faster okay now let's check also the guider i forgot the cap on here on phd2 it's too bright because it's daytime and i've done the first test I managed to connect everything to the sviboni power box one advice is to get uh, a proper charger that can give up to 10 amps in case if you want to connect a lot of devices and it will require more power. I've just tested, everything worked perfectly. I was able to connect and control the mount, to control the cameras and also the dual heater here uh, works and it got warm. By the way, more videos will come soon with my new SV Boni SV555 upgraded telescope. This is the version 2, and they made a couple of improvements, including star correction. Now, with the SV555, doesn't have any pinch optics. Now, this telescope is, I think, the best quality for the money that you can currently buy in 2025 as a 250 millimeters telescope. Thanks for watching. If you are interested to buy any of this uh, equipment from Svivoni, do check the links in the video description. I want to give big thanks to all the channel members. It means a lot your support. And if you want also to support the channel, don't forget to hit the join button and you'll get access also to cool perks like downloading my astrophotography data. And hope I see you soon in the next video.